Understanding, Sinister Motives, Unraveling the Meaning. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's lesson. In this video, we're going to explore the meaning of the phrase, Sinister Motives. This is a phrase you might come across in books, movies, or everyday conversations, and understanding it can really enhance your comprehension of the English language. So, let's dive in and discover what it truly means. The phrase, sinister motives, consists of two words, sinister and motives. Let's look at each word individually. Sinister. This word originally comes from Latin, where it meant, left. But over time, it has come to mean evil, ominous, or threatening. When something is described as sinister, it suggests a kind of darkness or malevolence. Motives. This refers to the reasons or intentions behind an action. Motives explain why someone does something. When combined, sinister motives refers to intentions or reasons that are secretly evil or harmful. To better understand sinister motives, let's see how it's used in various contexts. 1. In literature, authors often use this phrase to describe a character whose intentions are harmful or evil, but not openly shown. 2. In everyday conversation, when someone says a person has sinister motives, they are implying that the person's intentions are not good and possibly hidden. 3. In news and media, journalists might use this phrase to describe the hidden, harmful intentions behind a seemingly normal action or policy. Understanding the context can help you better grasp the nuance of the phrase. Synonyms Understanding synonyms can broaden your vocabulary. For sinister motives, similar phrases include malevolent intentions, nefarious purposes, or ulterior motives. Antonyms. On the flip side, antonyms help us understand the opposite concept. Antonyms for sinister motives could be benevolent intentions, noble purposes, or honorable motives. I hope this video has helped you understand the meaning of sinister motives and how to use it in different contexts. Remember, language is a window to culture and thought, and every new phrase you learn opens up a bit more of that window. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next lesson.